Hey everyone, how you doing today? Great to see you again. Welcome to another episode of Just How Much House for the Money. Wherever you guys are today, hope you're having a fabulous day and I hope your cup is full of happiness. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and join our growing community because this is where we venture through state to state, through town to town to see just how much house, cabins, and acreage we can get for our money. And today we're moving into another beautiful southern state of interest, looking at properties like this one right here. This one is on three quarters of an acre and it's listed for 149. Then there's this house here sitting on a quarter of an acre for 140,000. And then there's this brick cutie on three quarters of an acre for 135,000. So we're gonna check out some details on these properties while we move into the beautiful state of South Carolina today. So if you're moving to South Carolina, you're gonna be living with just under 5.3 million people. Weather Channel tells us that today it is beautiful and sunny in the high 80s in South Carolina. And for those of you wanting to buy real estate in the South Carolina area, we're looking at a real estate tax rate of 0.55% which is lower than the national average coming in at 0.99%. So let's check out some details on this very pretty single family ranch. Now this one here is in Green Sea, South Carolina. It's on a little more than three quarters of an acre. The house has 1,664 square feet. So let's check out Green Sea. We are in an unincorporated community in Horry County right here, Green Sea. So we are really close to the North Carolina line. Look at that. Can't get much closer. And uh, so we are in Green Sea, so we are in Northern South Carolina. Finkley is right below us. And so let's see, anywhere else? Another close town by any chance? Finkley, and then White Pond is over to the east. Live Oak, South Carolina, and Glen down to the southeast, and then Poplar Hill to the south. And Adrian and Allen and Homewood and White Oak are also to the south. So we are at 5570 Billy Mac Road. And this house has been on the market for 24 days. It was built in 1980, and it's a three bedroom, two bath with 1,664 square feet, just a little more than a three quarter of an acre lot. So let's see what we're getting for 149,000. This looks very nice, very well maintained from what we see, very clean. And it does have a shingle roof, nice covered entry there and very minimal landscaping around the outside. Looks like we do have a concrete or a brick foundation. Very pretty. So here we're moving right on into the inside. There's our front door. So we are getting some paneling on the walls on the lower level of the wall there. Looks like maybe laminate flooring. We can always paint paneling. We've seen it done many times on the channel. You can always paint walls, lighten and brighten them up if you like. This room does have a ceiling fan, nice big window. When you're there in person, you can really get down to the nitty gritty. You can have home inspections if you want. Doesn't matter if it's a house or a cabin. You want to know how long the house has been vacant, what kind of condition it's in, how the mechanicals are, because we're always looking at the well, the septic, um, the mechanicals, the parcel, the house, the location. You can drive around these neighborhoods at different times of the day. And there's also a website called www.familywatchdog.org that will tell you about some neighboring residents. It's a very helpful website when you're not familiar with neighborhoods. So here we're moving in to the uh, side of the house here, maybe a side entrance with a closet there. Moving into the kitchen, very nice. Dark green laminate countertop, double sink, with a nice window above it. A lot of cabinets. We are getting a dishwasher. So we do have a counter here right in the middle to separate the living and the dining. And down the hall is probably where we're gonna find the bedrooms and bathrooms. So we could add counter high chairs to the counter there. A lot of cabinets. It does have a range hood, but no range. So there's another entry there. Possibly, if you didn't want this wall here, we could just put a header in and we could just open the whole house right up. Or you could put the header in and just have a nice big waterfall island. That'd be very pretty. You wanted to modernize it, but there's nothing wrong with the way it is. It looks very clean. Looks like we can move right in here and we're looking at a under $150,000 on just a little more than three quarters of an acre. 
So there we do have some built-in cabinets there as we move into the kitchen right on the end. That's kind of funky. Now this isn't much of an overhang on that wall there we see, right? So if this were mine, I would do something with this. I think I would take that whole wall right out of there and just put a bigger island in and really open it up because it's, you know, not everybody would want that separation. If you do, that's fine. But for me, that's a little bit too dark. Okay, moving into the hallway. There's those cabinets. Okay, so moving on into maybe a bedroom here. Nope, this is a bathroom. Looks like there's different flooring in this bathroom. There is a cabinet. This may be a bedroom. Looks like the laminate floor continues through the house, which is nice. This may, oh, here's a different laminate flooring here, a little darker gray color. Okay, maybe another bedroom. Okay, so here is the outside carport area maybe. Maybe that's a garage. Good size space. Okay, here's the back side. There's our fire pit, you guys. Right there in the back. How sweet is that? That's a nice grill area. It does have a propane tank. So we're getting just a couple of windows on the rear side of the house and then one on the very back. So not a lot of windows on the far on the rear. Very minimal landscaping again as we go around. You could add South Carolina perennials or you can leave it very minimal. It doesn't matter. Whatever your tastes are. And look at this. So here we get a two-story garage. So that adds value. Looks like it does have wood along the front. It does have a shingle roof with another. Hopefully that could be a living area up above. That would be nice if you could renovate that. And then we have the side open space over on the right side and then it looks like it's vinyl sided on the left which could need some clean up. Nice. This has got a ton of potential. So your HVAC is up on that platform there. So it keeps it off the ground. Hmm. Vinyl sided house too. Very pretty property right here. If you guys are looking in this neck of the woods I'd be looking at that. It's new to the market and uh, has the two-car garage, or I'm sorry, two-story garage. Lots of parking off the driveway. It does have the carport. Very pretty. 5570 Billy Mac Road, 149000 on just a little more than three-quarters of an acre. Been on the market 24 days, 1980 build, and it says great area of Green Sea, and only 30 minutes from North Myrtle Beach and Myrtle Beach. Wow, I didn't realize that. So half an hour from Myrtle Beach. Charming country home with big yard and a huge barn in the back. The barn is in great shape and can be finished on the inside for a mother-in-law suite. Very nice. Or if you want to have one of your kids stay with you or if they're finishing up college or if they don't know what they want to do yet. Or have a gal pal or a guy pal or a family member live right there with you and share in the expenses. Nice. And it's only minute, only 10 minutes to Loris and the grocery stores and your restaurants. So we have area amenities also. Sweet. And when we look at the history, it was just listed. And again, the real estate tax rate in South Carolina is 0.55%. Nice way to start us off right there. A little more than three quarters of an acre. Let's look at the street view. Wide open spaces too. Look at this. Nice. Beautiful location right here. Nothing wrong with this. $149,000 with your detached garage, with a mother-in-law suite, good size house with 1,664 square feet. Nice. All right, moving on to this one here. This one is in Joanna, South Carolina, 29351 at 307 Lawrence Street for $140,000. So we're, we, we are reducing the price. And this house has been on the market for 44 days. And let's see, Joanna, South Carolina, where are we at? We are in Lawrence County. Population was 1,539 people in 2010. So here we are right below Clinton, South Carolina. And Joanna is right here. So Cross Hill, Waterloo is right down to the southwest. So let's scroll out a little bit. So here's Columbia, South Carolina, down to the southeast. 
So we are Francis Marion and Sumter National Forest right here. Newberry and Prosperity are down to the south. And Simpsonville and Fountain Inn are up to the north. And this is 307 Lawrence Street. So what are we getting for $140,000? It's a two-bedroom, one-bath house on a little more than a quarter of an acre. Well, let's see what we're getting. This is super cute. So for those of you that don't want a larger lot, you want minimal to maintain, this may suit your needs. Beautiful covered front porch. Now the shrubs, I would just trim back a little bit more and just keep them at the same level where at the highest point of the brick there near the porch. Nice paved walkway, does need a little attention. Shingle roof. Very cute. We do have some neighbors. Porch is perfect for our coffee and our conversation. Okay, so there we go. Very pretty, nice front door. So it looks like they put up panels here in between the framing of the deck. You could switch that out if you want. You could put wrought iron. You could add a little bit more detail there or leave them the way they are. Nice staircase to get us up there with the wrought iron railings. Front door matches the railings. That's very pretty. You could paint the stairs another color and the concrete on the front porch if you wanted to brighten it up a little bit and add that pop of color. And if this were mine, I think I would trim these shrubs right down. It does have some nice hostas. Those will come up every year. And I would probably put, put a flower box there and there and trim these back and then have my color right on the railing. That'd be very pretty. And it would also give you a little bit more privatization when you're up on your porch. Okay, moving on to the inside. Look at how pretty this is. Very clean, move in ready. Love it. Look at those glistening hardwood floors. Nice fireplace there, gas heater. Does have a bookshelf on the one side. You could totally add another one. Very pretty. Nice open living room, clean ceiling. Nice light color on the walls, bright and airy, very welcoming. Okay, so here's the dining area. Looks like it's very fresh, but it could use a little coat of paint there. The lower wall. You do have three receptacles right there. There's a place for your dining table right underneath the lights. So moving on into the kitchen. Look at this. So we do have vinyl flooring, a nice elongated counter, double sink, double windows above it, nice faucet. Has a sink sprayer. Here we have a flat top range with a little counter beside it. Then we have an island area with a butcher block top. Sweet. This is very pretty, very clean. Just enough cabinets, that's all we really need. Now if this were a little bit more of an overhang on that counter, we could have counter high chairs. Maybe there's a way to modify it. It's nice workspace nonetheless. Very pretty kitchen. I like how they put the darker hardware on there. It just makes it pop. It matches the laminate counter. Yeah, it does look like there's plenty of space to add a little bit more of an overhang there, even if it was just on the end. Nice though. White refrigerator. Nice big window. Okay, so there's some nice open shelving there on the wall. Okay, so move it into a bedroom. Three windows right there in the bedroom. That lets a lot of sunshine in. That's nice. Beautiful hardwood floors continue throughout. Here's our nice bathroom. Very pretty. Wainscoting on the walls. Nice window above the commode. Nice pedestal sink. That looks fairly new. Does have a medicine cabinet. And I like how they kept the vintage Towel holder there, sweet. Does look like it has a tub and shower combination. Very nice house right here. $140,000, a little more than a quarter of an acre. Looks like a very pretty neighborhood as well. Okay, so let's get some details on this. Those floors are gorgeous. And there's our little porch that doubles as our utility room. Very nice. You can come right in from outside, 
put your clothes in the laundry. You could add an outdoor shower, rinse off before you come in. Nice. This is a very nice parcel too. Look at this, you guys. $140,000, way below the median sales price that they say we pay in South Carolina, which is in the mid threes. So this is just another very pretty house that we could call our own. We could add a front porch. We could add a back porch. This has got a lot of potential. We could have a fire pit back there, just like in the previous house. Very nice. And this one is at 307 Lawrence Street in Joanna, South Carolina, 29351. It's been on the market for 44 days. And it does say here, hidden gem in the heart of Joanna, charming two bedroom, one bath house, sits on spacious 0 0.3 acre lot. First step into the inviting front porch, and then you have a beautiful place to have your evening drink or your morning coffee or curl up with a good book. And it says the space is designed for both functionality and style on the inside and the out. And it does say both bedrooms, let's see, sorry, primary bedroom boasting extra closet space and the bathroom is thoughtfully situated in the hallway, easily accessible from both bedrooms. And that's what I was trying to say there. And we are just minutes from downtown Clinton, easy access to I-26, and a short drive to all the amenities as well. Nice. So when we look at the history on this one, this one was, let's see, we got some history on this one. It was listed in November of last year for $139, then it was sold for $128. Then they list it in May of this year for $147. Now they are down to the $140,000 price point. And again, this house was built in, oh, they don't give us the year it was built. But I'm guessing mid to early 50s if I had to guess. And there's no street view for this property, but very pretty house anyway. $140,000 in Joanna, South Carolina. Very nice house right there. Okay, moving on to this one. We're reducing the price even more so. $135,000. This is on three quarters of an acre. This house has only been on the market a few hours as I post this video. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath house with 1,051 square feet in Anderson, South Carolina. So we look at Anderson. We are in the county seat, Anderson County. And here we are above Greenwood. So we are below Clemson and above, below Simpsonville, and we are below Greenville, South Carolina. So when we look at the map, we are above Columbia and we are above Augusta. Quite a pinch there. So here is Savannah River. So here we are in Anderson, South Carolina, below North Lake and to the west of Belton. So here we are. We have, let's see, Sandy Springs and White Oaks right above us to the north also. Anderson, South Carolina. And this is at 203 Fleming Drive, 135,000, built in 1968. What are we getting? This looks very pretty. Nice brick ranch. We do have some beautiful flowering trees right in the front, along with those hedges along the front. And again, I think I might trim those back a little bit. Very pretty lawn. Looks like it was just mowed. This looks like it's been very well maintained. It does have a shingle roof. Look at that beautiful covered front porch. Nice, nice brickwork all along the whole front sides, all around. Shutters around the windows. We do have an attached garage and all those beautiful perennials, all those hostas, they'll pop up every year. Look how pretty. So a nice light bright color palette again. This house does have the carpet. We may get lucky and find hard wood beneath it. That would be nice. If you didn't want the carpet, it can be rolled up and removed. So it looks like this wall here is gonna separate us from the dining and kitchen area. We could possibly remove that. because it doesn't look load bearing, we could put in some really cool beams. Even if you just wanted the, you know, just for decoration, just for style. I'd wanna open that up. That would drive me crazy having it closed off like that. So there's a nice floor to ceiling windows in the front room, baseboard heating. Nice front door. Okay, so there's our dining light. Looks like we're getting vinyl flooring off that dining area there. So there's that wall that we see when we come into that living room. I take that right out of there. Okay, we're not getting a whole lot of a kitchen here, but we do have some cabinets that we could salvage. Does have a sink, 
double sink. So we could add to these cabinets, cool hardware, or you could just take them off and start fresh and take that wall right out of there and have a nice big island with a counter high chairs, just a nice open, just an open floor plan to really arrange furniture very easily. Make it your own. So there's another side door there. So there's a few cabinets and drawers. I guess we could work with what's there if you don't need a lot. Okay, so here is maybe a bedroom, more carpet. Here's the bathroom, nothing wrong with that. It does have a nice big window. It is an aluminum window. Nice tub and shower. Very nice bathroom, nothing wrong with that at all. $135,000 house right here, you guys. It looks like we could move right in here. And again, they don't have to be our forever houses. We could modernize them, spruce them up. You could live there a few years. You could turn it into a rental investment or you could live there for a very long time. This is a nice first house for someone. Okay, so that's another bedroom. Nice ensuite bathroom. Looks like we're getting closet space. There's the bathroom, very nice. Looks like vinyl flooring. And then there's the back side of the house with a beautiful wide open deck, raised deck at that. That's very pretty with more landscaping around the back. So the back side only has the four windows. So this is very minimal as far as your windows. Shingle roof looks like it's in good shape. Again, you could have home inspections. Very nice property. Wow, look at this. The deck may need some attention, but that's still not the worst. It's not the worst thing to be had, right? Okay, so wow, look at this. So there's the garage. Wow. So we're not getting an overhead garage door opener, but that's okay. We could implement one. Yeah, and this house has a ton of potential, $135,000. So let's get some details on this. Well, if my computer will co cooperate here. Okay, so let's see here. 203 Fleming Drive, 135,000, three bedrooms, one and a half bathroom or a two bedroom home office on three quarters of an acre. It's only been on the market a few hours, built in 1968. And it says large family room as you enter from the front kitchen and a dining room, needs a little TLC, but is move in ready. Deck overlooks the large backyard and it has the one car garage. And when we look at the details, for the history, it was sold in 1993 for $45,500, and now they've listed it for 135. The house is 56 years old, and again, the real estate tax rate is 0.55% in South Carolina. So let's look at our street view. What are we getting? Look at this. This is very pretty. Very nice. You could add another hedgerow there. You could put up a little privacy fence if you like, or a picket fence. This looks like a very pretty neighborhood. Nice brick homes all around. Very nice. And that again is 203 Fleming Drive, you guys. So whether you wanna spend $135,000 on a single brick ranch, or you wanna spend 140 for this cutie in Joanna, South Carolina, or you want this larger house here, for $149,000 in um, Green Sea, South Carolina, you have housing options that are way below the median sales price. And that's always what we wanna see and hear about, right? Wherever you guys are, hope you're having a fabulous day. You're always welcome to subscribe to this channel. So until the next state of interest, you guys, please stay safe, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. Cheers, have a great day.